Hey there, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to be talking about boundaries with your intuition and your spirit guides. This is something that a lot of times people don't know that they can actually do. They think their intuition should, can just come in whenever, and it can, but you can actually make your intuition work for you. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. But first, welcome. If you're new to me, my name is Whitney McNeil. I'm a spiritual teacher, and my passion is to help you connect with your spirit guide so you can clearly understand your intuitive gifts and messages and align to your life purpose and attract abundance. We are here to really enjoy life. And one of the ways in order to enjoy life is to fully really love what we're doing. And so I truly believe that it's important that we connect to life purpose, our spirit guides who are there to help us in the first place. And then of course we wanna attract abundance. So if you're here, let me know. I'd love to say hi to you. For everyone watching the replay on my website, hi, I'm so glad that you're here. And so today we are talking about creating boundaries with your spirit guides. So I did want to let you know that on Tuesdays, I generally will talk about abundance. And so today we talk about intuition and spirit. Now, if you haven't heard by now, I have a free mini course about discovering your abundance blocks, which also can block your intuition. And one of the things that I love to tell my students inside of Intuition Abundance Academy is celebrate the money you receive, celebrate your win, celebrate your abundance. So this is just a personal share before we get into the topic. So I opened up a letter from my insurance company today and there was $833.73, a check payable to me, and it was an unexpected surprise. So who doesn't love getting money in the mail, especially when it's fun and surprising? So of course, we wanna tell the universe, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love getting these fun monetary surprises that are payable to me so that the universe can give us more. So if you haven't checked out that free mini course, go to messengerspirit.com forward slash blocks. Make sure you want to watch it, it expire September 14th. And next week I'm announcing something just super fun. So make sure to watch this spot come back this next week so that you can learn what that is. Okay, hi, hello. Is it Irit or Erit? I'm not sure, I wanna make sure I say hi. Hey Donna, hey Cindy, good to see you. All right, let's talk about creating boundaries with our intuition, our guides. So when I have students inside of Intuition Abundance Academy, their, one of their ahas is, oh my gosh, I can actually make my intuition work for me and it doesn't just come in whenever. So with our intuition, a lot of times we think that we're kind of this, I, I'm gonna say victim, even though I'm not meaning it to be negative, but we're like, wait a minute here, I thought intuition just flowed in whenever and it comes into me like when I'm in the shower and like right before I'm going to bed and then sometimes wakes me up in the middle of the night and I get it in my dreams. And so we say we're kind of like, I don't know, it just comes when it comes. Well, the good news is that you can actually create boundaries with your intuition. And the way that we create boundaries with our intuition is consistency and, and scheduling a time. So one of the tips that I always tell my students is make sure that you're scheduling a time to connect in to your intuition. So this morning, for instance, I get up and before I sit, actually I'm sitting at my computer and I'll say, what are the, the biggest priorities that I need to focus on today? And so I am directing my intuition into a, a time, a place, and I'm being consistent so that the channel doesn't get backed up and then flow in in the middle of the night or whenever. Now I might welcome intuitive messages whenever they need to come in, but I love to create boundaries. And in order to do that, I've got to connect with my spirit guides. So connecting with my spirit guides, they know when to send me the information and when not to. And so that might involve, hey, not when I'm in the shower, not when I'm driving, not when I'm trying to have time to just connect with my family or connect with myself or whatever. You've got to create those boundaries. And that's the the aha that I hear is, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. I can make it work for me. Like I get to control it. And that's the aha that I love to have. Now, I do have people that come to me before they've learned some techniques and they're like, I literally woke up and I saw a spirit at the end of my bed and it's scary. Or they might say, I'm really afraid to open up because I'm afraid that it's going to come to me whenever and wherever. Well, I am someone that goes against the grain of the medium shows and the TV shows and all that stuff. 
So while it can be entertaining to watch a medium go to the grocery store or go into a restaurant and start talking to some random person about their, their, their spirit that's around them, that's really, in my opinion, not healthy. And so I don't teach that because if you are always open 100% of the time, it becomes very confusing to know what's reality and what's in spirit, what's my intuition. And so if you don't have a consistent time and space, for one, you're not going to know when it is an intuitive message versus when you are thinking about something. So if your thought is producing, then how can you actually receive clearly? Do you see what I'm saying? Like we need to be in receive mode to actually understand and receive the messages versus if we are in action and our thoughts are thinking, then imagine that intuitive message trying to come in. It's going to be really funky, really muddy, really cloudy. And so making time is going to be important. The next step, too, is I would say talk to your spirit guides and tell them when it's appropriate and when it's not appropriate so that you have one consistency and two, you start to have people that work for you and help you. The universe is always really like conspiring in your favor and your spirit guides are, too. They just need a little direction. So the universe today, I had, you know, eight hundred thirty three dollars and seventy three cents just magically pop into my mailbox. And so I said, thank you, that's beautiful. And so I'm directing the universe. Yeah, please send me more of that. With the spirit guides, I'm gonna be talking about, you know, I got this message at this time and it really wasn't appropriate time. So if you can give them to me during this hour, during this time, and you have to like actually do it and receive. So that's really, really important for you. So you can do that. And then whenever, as you're coaching, right? Like you're coaching your spirit guides and your intuition, you want to make sure you don't micromanage. You can't micromanage if you're like, well, I told him one thing, but I'm going to do another. Making sure you're sticking to your own boundaries is going to be really, really clear. So one of the other things that I wanted to just share before we leave here is that the boundaries you create in your life will also reflect into spirit. If you're somebody with no boundaries and you're always open and you find that you don't have many boundaries in your life and other places, you'll see that translate into the energetic world. So actually working on boundaries in your life, saying no to things that don't light you up, um, maybe you feel guilty about it, working on that. The more that you create those boundaries for yourself in your life, and also that includes like looking at your schedule and creating time for yourself, or, like you can't create time, you create space for the time that you want to really work on yourself. The more that you do that, it will translate into the spiritual world as well. So hopefully that helps. And if you are really excited about learning more, I'd love for you to jump on the wait list for Intuition Abundance Academy opening September 17th. You can get on the wait list at messengerofspirit.com forward slash wait list. We've got so many resources for you before that even starts, though. I'm going to announce one next week. But for now, I'd love to see you inside of the free mini course, messengerspirit.com forward slash blocks to discover your blocks. If you haven't taken the quiz, we've got another free resource, messengerspirit.com forward slash quiz. But I'd love to work with you a little bit more coming up next week. I'll tell you how to do that. But I'm so excited. It's hard for me to keep it secret. Anyway, I hope to see you soon and I hope you have an amazing, amazing Thursday. All right. Bye for now.